All right, welcome back, everyone. It is I, John, the MTG Peddler. All right, so I wasn't planning on doing this so quickly, but my uh, Thirst Beyond Death Collector's Booster Box has arrived a couple of days faster than I was anticipating, so I must thank TCG players for their prompt shipping. I was expecting it by the end of the week, but here we are. It's only Wednesday, and I will be opening that up today. Now, for the six of you who were here when I recorded my, or watched my first video, uh, I remember I was going to give you the pricing of the cards that I pulled to see what the value was of those two packs to see if it might benefit you to buy just a couple of these packs or it makes more sense to buy larger amounts to increase your likelihood of better pulls. So, I pulled an extended Art Woe Strider that goes for $5, an Ashiok Sculptor Fear, $2, uh, Full art showcase, oh, I'm sorry, a showcase helioid, non foil, goes for 18. Uh, Hactose extended foil, the masterpiece, that is $13. Uh, Idyllic Tutor extended art, which is 12. And a Perfus foil, which is basically worthless, coming in at just under a buck. Now, if, when you include the lands, the uh, foil mix lands, and the tokens, which are surprisingly going for about a buck each, give or take, and the lands, which you know, it averages two, three bucks. Islands are worth the most, but I'm just going to call them $2. The two-pack value for the $60 investment I put in it is exactly $60. So, and one of my packs was stronger than the other one. So, kind of take, it's the luck of the draw. It really is. But I did make my investment back, at least. All right, so... I'm going to do this one a little bit differently because I kind of went through each individual card last time. And since we're talking about value, there's no value in the commons and, or really the uncommons. So I'm just going to skip those. And I'm just going to focus primarily on the rare slots and the constellation slots just to kind of speed things up. And I'm actually better prepared this time. I have a pricing guide open on one half of the screen, the other half I'm looking at my fucking face. So it works out well. So I'll be able to price these out per pack as we go. And hopefully I can do that in a relatively timely manner. That is the plan. So let's just go right to the fun shit. Let's open packs. All right, let's crack this puppy open here. Always fucking fun to open packs. And hopefully I don't look like an asshole opening this thing up. Oh no, yeah, it slides right out. I do like the kind of finish on the box. It almost looks like it's boiled. I don't know if the regular booster boxes come like that now. They may very well may, but this gives it like a little bit more of a special aura. And it's very weird because this is my first collector's box. I come from a land where there was no collector's boxes. So it's really weird having a full box in my hand and it's 12 packs only. All right, so let me get organized so I can have piles. I got my list here. I'm going to do the analog way. Go pen and paper. All right. Pack one. Let's see what we go. I'll probably just breeze through the, like I said, the commons and the uncommons, but I'll still show this for those who like seeing every card in the pack. I, I get it. And plus, I want to savor this. It's only 12 packs, so might as well have some fun with it. The Rika's Libation. And also, you may be able to tell I've done some difference with the lighting. You might actually be able to see what the fuck I'm showing you now. That was uh, the one complaint I got, and from no one that no one that watched it was my personal complaint. So, next, Skola Great Dancer, followed by Nixborn Marauder, Foil Non Nix Island, Real of Possibility. All right, now moving on to the uncommon slot, we have one with the stars. Any noise you're hearing in the back is my wife playing with the cats. We have six of them, and I'm waiting for one of them to jump up on the table to say hi. So you'll probably get introduced at some point. Next is, what the hell is this? Birth of Melodis, I don't know, I'm not fucking Greek, so I don't know how to pronounce that shit. Another uncommon, we're going to favorite of Iroas? I'm just going to shit all over these names. It's going to be great. All right, moving on to the land slots. Straighten this out a little bit here. First off, Foil Island. That was my 
watch. Oop. Bumbling all over the place. Boy, a swamp. I, I really, really like these Nyx lands. I'm, I've heard mixed reviews. Some people really don't like the new uh, land styling. Some people really do. I fall in the category of those who really do. Okay, first ancillary card. It's common. Not worth shit. Swimmer in nightmares. Next, full art. Full art, Phoenix of Ash. Very, very good limited card. Very, very good. Oh, look at that. First pack, and we already have a masterpiece. And it's also a Phoenix of the Ash. So first one was the extended art non-foil. This one is going to be the extended art foil. Might have some value here. We'll check it. First constellation um, non-foil is going to be an annex. <coughs> yeah. And then followed by an annex. Great. In foil. And we have our human and wolf token. So like I said, now I'm going to go back and just look at the rares and mythics that we're pulling. I'm also going to keep track of the mythic rate and also the um, the uh, masterpiece rate, the foil extended, just to kind of get an idea of what we're looking at for pack. I feel like I'm seeing, like on average, because I've been watching a lot of pack openings, between six to eight mythics per box. And generally there's three, sometimes four if you're lucky, of the masterpieces. So let's see what we're looking at. Phoenix of Ash. Let's see how quickly I can do this to see if I'll continue this for the whole video. Probably should have pulled out my mouse. All right, so Phoenix of the Ash extended art non-foil goes for $4. I'm going to use TCG Player's uh, price guide. I find that they're on the low side of average, and I feel like when you're trying to assess value, you want to aim low and be pleasantly surprised when you go online and like, oh shit, that's actually worth more than I was expecting. Perfect. This was actually a pretty poor pack. Um, three of my five money slots were uncommons. Not much going on there. So four bucks for the extended art, and let me pull this up real fast and see what the foil is going for. And the foil is going for $21.91. So we're going to call this pack 25 bucks. Pack one, 25 bucks. And my running total obviously is 25. So that, that one foil really saved this pack. This would have been a very, very disappointing way to start this off. And like I said, I spent uh, between taxes, shipping, and product, this box cost me $240. So I'm aiming at $20 a pack to break even, and then anything above that is just gravy. So, and I'm also not going to bother to um, totaling in the lands and the tokens. I'll do that at the very end of the video. Let's see what pack we pile I did. I took off this one. Pack two. Pack two. All right, so, top thief. Flux and Cyclops. These comments are just going to be in the way here. They're getting pushed aside. Unknown Shores. I actually like this foil. Very cool looking foil art. Chain to Memory. Hyrex Tower Scout. Another foil island. Or, uh, non nix Island, that's what you say. And good old Nessian Horn Beetle. Entrancing Liar. Ooh, nice. Another foil island. My personal favorite it is the most expensive land. Always nice to get one of those. And a foil swamp. So very, very similar to the first pack. Hopefully that does not, does not mean I'm going to have uh, three uncommons in my five money slots. But it's already, already, already a good start. To it. At least it's not, not worth much, but it's, it is not an uncommon. Elspeth Devotee. Next is going to be our full art slot, non-foil, and that is full art Temple of Plenty. Next we have our foil, which is a foil Timurit Calls the Dead. Not much value there. Come on, Pax. Got to do a little bit better than this. All right, next in the uh, Constellation slash Saga, we have Saga. Elspeth Conquers Death. Also not much value there. And 
we have a foil Daxos. Again, that's a pretty underwhelming pack. Human Soldier and Tentacle. Tentacle Token. So let's go through our rares and mythics. And uh, uh, two packs in, still no mythics, by the way. For those of you who are keeping track, I'm actually closer to the Temple of Plenty to start there. So Temple of Plenty. Eventually, once my uh, Temple of Plenty extended art, where'd you go? We're looking at $2.50. And then we have Timberet Calls the Dead in foil. Come on, computer. See, it's already taking too long. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll skip it. I'm sorry. Oh, it's calls of dead. Hold on. I just clicked the wrong damn thing. Yeah, this, is, this dead air is not going to work. <laughs> maybe I'll just look up the expensive stuff. Ah, who cares? I only had like I think four or five people watch the original post, so I'm just talking to myself. And yeah, it's 50 cents. Great. So I don't really care how long this takes, because guess what? I'm having fun. I got nothing better to do with my life currently. I did chores all day, and this is my little treat for myself. All right, Elspeth Devotee non foil goes <laughs> whopping 21 cents. And Elspeth Conquers Dex is 87 cents. So that is a very, very, very poor pack. I believe I might have pulled $5 in value out of that pack. Yeah. So currently we're behind. We're behind the eight ball here. We need to step this shit up a little bit. Pack number three. Oh, and my running total for the two packs is $30. $30 in value. Not the way we want to start. Hopefully these packs will start lighting up a little bit here. Get us a little excited. And I'm going to speed this up a little bit too. Swamp. Memory drain. Cool looking foil. Omen of the Hunt. Scavenging Harpy. Revoke Existence. I'm going to put these on, put these on top of the uncommons because I am not paying attention. There we go. Altar of Pantheon. And uncommon slot, we have Underworld Flame Fires, something like that. And, ah, nice. Initial Light, I'm a fan of this card. Let's see. Uh, uh, lands, Nyx Lands, Flux Swamp, and the first planes of the pack. Hopefully, it means we're going to get some better shit underneath them. That uh, Swamp Island combination is not doing us very well, is it? All right, so we had a first pack. Demon of Loathing in our ancillary card. Slot. And then we have Full Art Non Foil Shattered Sky. And then we have Foil Treacherous Blessing. Renata Non Foil. And Timurat. So, and uh, we have a Seder Goat Token. Again, not a very good pack. We're already a quarter of the way through, and it's not going well. Not going well at all. Let's see, Demon of Loathing. That's going for a buck. Um, that's Cat. You know, I'm sure she'll come around in a second here. There she is. Come on, Jones. It's actually going to shatter the sky. Extended art is about four bucks. There she is. This is Jones, the other one. There she is. And she's a big, big tubby girl. And she's a sweetheart. You get down. You get down. Go on. Good girl. So four bucks. And I think I said a buck on the other one. And I'm looking for a treacherous blessing. I don't believe that is anything. you think I'd search faster, but my computer does what it wants to do. There it is, Treasure's Blessing. Let me get the foil price. And it's about a buck also. 
So uh, I think we're gonna call five bucks again. Not very strong. Not at all. Very uninspiring. So our running total, the past two packs have been about five dollars in value. Think of that when you're gonna just buy one of these individually. Five bucks. Off a twenty dollar investment. Or ten dollars off a forty, however you want to look at it. So our running total currently is thirty-five dollars. So right now we're running about a pack behind. So we need to start opening some shit here. So we're about a pack behind in value. Alright, so I'm just gonna actually do it this way. Just 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 speed us along. See on it. Yeah, I'm just gonna fan them. You guys can see what they are. Mountain. I don't know the cards want us to look at them backwards on my webcam and see what they are. And plummet. Just to speed this up a little bit. But uncommon is a little bit more fun, so we'll go there. Minions return. Dream Shaper Shaman. Planes. And next mountain. First mountain. Still haven't seen a forest. Four packs in. Still haven't seen a forest. All right, so ancillary. Victory's Envoy. Next. There we go. Not great, but it's better. It's something. Extended Art Nyx Lotus. That'll help pull us up. That'll help pull us up. Foil. Rick's a Sudden Storm. Something, something. That's all right. Nyx Lotus helps a lot. It's good to see. It's going to start to get scared. Hey, there we go. See? Again, not it's the value is not much, but it's something. It's better than what we're pulling. So you've got to give yourself small victories. We have Erebos, non-foil. And last but not least, we have Renata. And let's give you a human soldier. Goat token. So that's foil. That's soldier. So now where am I here? I need to do victory envoy first. There we go. Nope, I lied. Because I don't know my alphabet. Victory Envoy is. Okay, it's two bucks. And then we can go to. Fix from here. Is it two? TH1. And he is foil. I don't believe he's worth very much in foil. I think it's the extended art that's actually where any form of money is. Yeah, he's a buck. Dollar foil. Then we have our Nyx Lotus. Once the same words back in. Nyx Lotus extended art is 20. Okay, that helps. And Erebus showcase. And that's six bucks. So we're looking at about 30 bucks for that pack. Helps a little bit. Now our running total is at 65 through those four packs, with the vast majority coming in the first and fourth pack. Pack number five. Again, I'm just gonna plop out these commons real fast. Let's go real fast. I'm not even going to bother mentioning them. Save a little bit of my breath. Uncommon, the non constellation Timurit, which I actually, I think I actually prefer this artwork better. It's much cooler looking. Feel of Ruin, probably one of the only Chase Uncommons in this set. And I really wouldn't call it a Chase Uncommon. I'm trying to give it a little bit of justice. Okay, so it's planes and a mountain. That's a good start. That's that's where we were last time. And also, hold on one second, just so I can kind of keep track of myself. Yeah, that that era was with our first mythic. So so far, only one mythic, and we're almost halfway home. Ah, uh, terror of Mount Velus, whatever it is, Velus, Velus, Velus. And we have Full Art Perforous Intervention. 
And there we go. That's something. I would love to see it being extended art, but it's not. It's a helioid, though. It's a helioid. It's a mythic. It's foil. Here we have caliphate. And a foil caliphate. Nothing special in those two slots. Those two slots have been very underperforming. And we also have a human and wall token. These two slots have been pretty, pretty terrible. Let's see, where am I after five? Erebus was the only one good pull. And in the foil, I believe, this would be equally poor. Yeah, all uncommons. So it's been a, that's been a rough slot right there. All right, so let's see. We have three worth looking at. So let's, let's go to Helioid. Sun crowned. Let's see what you do. What are you doing in foil, good sir? All right, so he's going for about 20 foil. Again, using TCG pricing. Jones is going to come back and say hi again because she had so much fun the first time. Hey, Jones. Yeah, my girl. Come on. We're getting close to dinner time, and that's why she's all up in me right now, but. It's still sweet. I'm not going to pretend it's not the food. And she actually loves me, but who knows? Judging by the size of her, I'm pretty sure it's the food. And what am I looking at? Perforous intervention. Extended art is a buck. Nothing good there. And the terror. And that's five bucks. Okay. So that brings this pack right around a cool twenty-five dollars. Brings our grand total up to ninety. Ninety-five, excuse me, for those you can count. So right, so that means that currently we're only about five bucks from breaking even through five packs. So it's not bad. It hasn't been very exciting, but it's not bad. It's just kind of grindy. Grinding out value out of these packs. All right. Funeral Rites. Vex and Gull, another limited card I love very much. Deny the Divine. Kekarlated or whatever it is. Kekarlated? I don't know. And Swap. Naida of Hidden Caves. Wolf Willow Haven. And again, I, Caliphate. I think I like these demigods, the demigods. I think I like them better in their traditional artwork and foil as opposed to the constellation artwork. I really like that. So we have Swampy Swamp. Hey, there it is. There's a forest. Look at that. We pulled a forest. Maybe that's a good sign for the next five slots here. We have not seen a forest yet. So let's see. What are we looking at? Underworld Sentinel. Okay. Full art card is going to be Eat to Extinction. Full art non foil. All right. It's not the best card, but you know what? It's it's a. Uh, which one? What do we call these things? Uh, masterpiece. Extended art foils. Great Baker Lamia. Second one of the pack. Of the packs. Second one. Second one. So hopefully I'll get one more, and hopefully it'll be a big one. Timber calls the dead, and Timber chosen. Okay, so I know that Timber calls the dead is worth basically nothing, and we also have a spider satyr token. So I'm just going to skip him all together. And so where am I at? So I need the underworld sentinel. Flying past those use. There it is. He's two bucks, give or take. Tim Red, I'm not even going to bother looking it up, so now we'll go to Grave Data for Lamia. Eventually. Eventually. Alright, there's four Grave Digger, but it is in foil. It's our masterpiece. And so that means we are looking at. Really? It doesn't sound right, 
I just looked at the market price of that and it's telling me $74 and that seems extraordinarily high for Great Breaker Lamia. I believe that's going to be closer to like $30, $40. I'll go $35. I'll go 35 on that card. All right, so I said two bucks and thirty-five. Now let's check out full RE2 extension. Now where seventy bucks come from? That does not sound right for that card, unless it's being used in some format that I'm unaware of. But hey, that is—I would have been more excited. <laughs> I feel like an asshole. Like all two people that are watching are like, "Oh my God, he's pulling great bigger than me!" Oh, and I'm just like, "No." Oh. Shows you what I know. That's why. That's why you research when you're selling. Research the shit out of everything. Uh, E2 extension, extended art. I'm gonna call it four bucks. All right, so that was actually a quality pack. Grave Baker really came in there. I believe I'm up to about 45 on that pack right there. It's a $45 pack. My strongest pack so far, by the way. I'm gonna take, take that because it has the forest in there, so I'm gonna be really excited next time I open the forest. And that actually bumps me up above the average. So now I'm currently. Um, Currently a positive value of this pack, 45, it's 140 right now through six packs. So right now I pulled a, let's call it 20 bucks over. This video is going much longer than I anticipated, so I'm going to not even bother showing the uncommon, the commons. I was not planning on doing this for a half hour. Interesting enough, that one did not have a basic land in it. It was, it was all... No basic land, no foil basic land, so rise to glory. Hydra's growth. We have a swamp. That's Jonesy down there. And we have plants. All right, our first ancillary card. Sunlight Hoplay. I'll, I'll, I'll trade you a nickel for it. Full art, Temple of Deceit. Very cool artwork on these temples. I really like the extended art temples. I think they're really, really good. Hey, and we have another masterpiece. I don't believe it's one of the valuable ones, but it is a masterpiece. Who is it? Adelon of Obstruction. Obstruction? Obstruction. I don't believe it's one of the valuable ones, but it is, in fact, a masterpiece. So that brings us up to three. Then we have a Renata, non foil, and a Daxtos foil. Human Soldier. Reflection token. All right, well, it's back to pretty easy. I only have two cards I have to look up. <laughs> Hasn't been the greatest box. It has not been. But then again, I still have five packs to go. Who knows? So maybe I'll pull something. And maybe I'm wrong about that Grave Breaker or Lamia. Maybe it is actually worth 70 bucks, and I'll be feel stupid. All right, so the Elon is going for about 14 The Full Art Foil. And Temple of Deceit. Where are we at? Temple of the Sea Extended Art, six bucks. So we're going to call this pack twenty dollars. Pack seven. Are we at pack seven? It goes quick. Bullshit. All right, and that brings our total up to one sixty. So we're holding strong at our very very meager uh, value. Over, over cost, value over cost. Very meager, but it's still there. And we still have five packs to go, so maybe one of these can give me a bomb or two in it. And I, believe, I think I'm still at one mythic, which is absolutely insane for these packs. I can't believe I'm only at one mythic. I want to confirm that. No, I know, I know it didn't open a foil mythic, so. One. And. Two, I forgot about Helioid. I did forget about the Helioid. So I am at two mythics. Still, it seems pretty light. Like I said, I've been seeing most people opening between six to eight. Also, no planeswalkers yet, too. Very surprised. Not a planeswalker yet. All right, again, Wrath and Flame, Final Death, Iris Blessing, Look at my island, uh, Nixborn Colossus, and Relentless Pursuits. So just a bunch of commons. I don't fan them. No one really gives a shit about them. They're not worth anything. Foil, Underworld Dreams. Good card. I remember back from M10. Love that card. It was a rare back then, too. Escape Velocity. Another island. I'm very happy about all these islands, by the way, because I believe they're still running three, four bucks, as opposed to the generic two that I'm getting lands for this video's purpose. Uh-oh. 
Guys, we got a forest. I got a feeling we might have something here. Let's see. All right, ancillary call, Death Fellow War Cry. Next is going to be a full art, Treacherous Blessing. Then we have a foil, Temple of Enlightenment. Then we have first Aronian Games. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Hold on, let me get my piles right. Foil, Clothis, uh, God of Destiny. It's the island. It, it's the it's the forest. You want you want to see forests when you're opening these packs, apparently. Because yeah, that's a card. Third mythic, and oh, we'll get excited because, because I do like the tentacle. The tentacle looks cool. As does the satyr, even though we can't block. That's okay though. That right there is going to add some value. That is adding value. So let's see what I'm at. Temple of Enlightenment. So I'm actually right there because I just had the Temple of the Sea. Foil is going for. I'm actually going to have to write this down because I got a little excited when I saw that card. Foil is going for two bucks. So two bucks. Then we have Treacherous Blessing. Yeah, this is taking way too long. I'll have to, I'll have to formulate a better plan next time I do this because I, I am planning on selling these and buying another pack or another box. Treacherous Blessing 4 are also $2. We have the first time in games, death row, and clothes. So we'll go this first. This is all alphabetical order. And I went right past the blockades that quickly. That fast went past him. Alright, Clothos Showcase. I believe he has some value. I believe. Yeah, 20 bucks. I got excited for a $20 card, but I don't care. It's 20 bucks. It's actually going for this meeting is actually 25. I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it 20, but good to get a little excited. Let's see uh, the first round games. Come on, computer. We're trying. Eventually we'll get there. There we go. First heroin games and death fellow war cry. I don't believe first round games is going for anything. Did they really do this by by I really or, or by the first? So it's under T. I'm probably just gonna skip it. Let's go to the stupid stupid fucking format. But then I did. Uh, that's two dollars, two bucks. I I, I I gotta see. Is this under T for the? Because if so, that's just that's comical. I think I'm more pissed off at that than, yeah, it absolutely is, by the way. Because <laughs> here's the, and it's, 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 uh, it's not foil, so it's bit worthless. All right, so that pack right there is going to run us about 20, I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it 28 bucks. And that brings our running total up to 188, still 30 bucks to the good. I love you, TCG. So, you know, you sold, you sold me a box of these for a decent price, but come on. Everyone knows that the is not included in alphabetical order. Jesus Christ. All right. So, again, just going to flip through these commons real fast. Nothing exciting. Okay. Basic land forest commons. And then we have Mischievous Chimera. Dawn Evangel. It's a card I don't think I've seen yet. Oh, yeah, it's that card. Never mind. All right, so we got Foil Island. Uh oh, and we have Forest. Let's see if we make it three for three on packs that have a forest. First one Ashiok's Forerunner. Ancillary card. Then we have a Full Art Nessian Boar. Ugh. Foil Mantle of the Wolf. Not exciting. And then we have Daxos, followed by Annex. Eh, well, you know. They can't all be winners, and that one was not. Oh, and I have a wall token. Seder Wall. Seder Wall token. 
All right, so what am I looking at here? Just not really, not really much to look at there. That's a, that's a poor pack. That's going to bring our total down. All right, so missing for extended art. We're looking at two dollars. Mental of the wolf. I think it's. I only think it's worth looking at. I think it's like a dollar maximum. And Ashiok for runner. Again, not much there. So I'm, I'm going to give that pack five dollars. Five dollars. That is a bummer. So it brings us up to a total of one ninety three. Good news is we're close to breaking even, and I have three packs left, but I would have loved to have broken even about halfway through, not three quarters of the way through. Yeah, let's see, hopefully one of these has got a, has got a monster in it. A monster card is what we need. Mountain Brute, Rich Scarf Berserker, Stampede Rider, Lamp Pad. Okay. Yeah. Now, Storyteller? Reverend Hoplet and Hero of the Winds. So we have our island, our mountain, and so the recard is a Ironside Hydra. Full art is going to be a Labyrinth of Scoicos. Scopus? Scopus. There you go. Scopus. I said Scopus. Underworld Breach, which I do believe has some form of value to foil. And we have Timurek. And we have a mythic. Nylea. Hina. In foil. Constellation. Followed by a Seder Goof. So that packs in the <laughs> Well, I mean, you can't really get much worse than that last one, but let's see. Start with the iron scale. That one is going for, that's actually going for five bucks. Five dollars. Next one which would be the flapper. I went right past that hole. And it is extended art. That's going for four. Again, I'm just using the TCNG average pricing. I'm not going too deep into it. I'll get deeper as I look into these for when I'm selling. Nylea. Keen Eye Showcase. And I'm foil, so please open. Please open. That's 15 bucks. What else am I looking up? Um, oh, Underworld Breach. Foil. I believe that actually might be a couple dollars. I'm not, nothing. We're not going to retire off this card, but it's better. You know, three five dollar packs. Three, three. So that that should scare you if you only want to buy one of these. That should scare the shit out of you. Who wants to spend $20, $30 on a pack and get $5 of cards? Not many people do. Yeah, it's going for 8 bucks. It's going for 8 bucks. So let's call this pack $35. Takes our... Actually, you know, I'm going to make it... I'm going to cheat a little bit here because I'm tired of looking at these off numbers. I'm going to call it $37. $37. So I can even this out to $230. So far, so I have successfully made back my investment in this box. So I have two packs, two packs left. So hopefully there's something in here that will just blow this number right up, it'll just skyrocket, skyrocket it. Also, these more mythics too. So it's four, four mythics are too low. And what about my uh, what should call it? Full art. Extended borders. I have three, so I'm I'm at my average. I'm at the average there from what I've seen. So that's that, that's a that's a fair number. I'm a little 
burnt by my lack of mythics. And look at Planeswalkers. There's not been a single Planeswalker opened in this entire pack. Wings of Hubris, Adelina Philosophy, Infuriate, Island, Nelia's Huntmaster, and then we're in the Uncommons. Just trying to speed this along a little bit here. Brawler. Mess up my piles. Find a rush and mess up my piles. Shoal Kraken. Commanding Presence. Very cool looking foil there. I like that. Then we have a Mountain. Good old forest, so who knows? This forest has been kind to us two out of three times. Alright, so ancillary, we have Grasping Giant. Ancillary is here. There we go. Alright. There we go. Finally. Something positive. Because you have you open you get a box and you open three packs that are told that you spend sixty dollars on these three packs. The total value is fifteen dollars. That hurts. That hurts. It hurts the pocketbook because it's it's a calculated risk buying these cards, and it doesn't always pay off. But then every now and then you open textless euro, not textless extended art euro, not foil. That would have been nice. That would have been a hundred dollar card. But this, I believe, is somewhere in the forties. Oh, I'm telling you, it's the, it's the it's the it's the fucking forest. Every time I open a forest, so that's my fifth mythic. And let's go right to my sixth. Foil Ox. That's something. That is something. Come on. Oh! Oh! That was my wife. She's making fun of me. Calyx. Borderless. Non-foil. But it's a Planeswalker. That's three Mythics. So four slots, three Mythics in this pack. And last but not least, Timurit. But still, that's a pack. That's gonna get you there. Human soldier, zombie token. That's how you. That's how you get value. That is how you get value. So we're gonna take our time. And we're gonna research this properly now. I, I, I don't mind taking the extra two minutes of your time. It's we're, we're forty minutes in already. So you, you can you can fucking wait. Well, I look this shit up because I'm excited. Damn it. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. So these packs come out of my, my own pocket. So I'm gonna enjoy this shit. All right, Calyx is five bucks. I was excited to see a Planeswalker, by the way. I know he's probably the worst Planeswalker to pull. I was very excited to see a Planeswalker in general. All right, so next we have the Grasping Giant, which I think is somewhere around that $5 mark. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. I hope you know how to spell Grasping. There it is. It's three bucks. But now we have an ox and euro to look up. The euro, I believe, is somewhere in the forties. I believe that's a foil ox. Foil ox is ten bucks. And uh, extended art euro. Where you at, bruh? Where you at? Come on. Let's get this long. One pack left. Yes. Uh, extended art has dead on the money. $40. That brings this pack up just about $60. i am going to round it to $60. $60 pack. There we go. That two ninety dollars tool. For the box. One pack left. I hope that's not the the one I should have ended on, but let's see where we go. So now clearly we're above our $240 buy-in. Clearly we're above it by 50 bucks. So right now it was worth it to make this decision to buy this pack. The planes, Karen Wade Mystic, Glory Bearers, or by our blessing. Dreadful Apathy. And then we have the Warden of the Chain. Felix. Felix. Felix? Felix? Whatever. Some Greek shit tactics. It's Phoenix tactics. Phoenix tactics. There it is. Something like that. It's a good card, though. Very good limited card. I can't say it. And the Life's Bounty. So we have a mountain. I think I've lost track. I think I'm at five or six mythics now. 
something, something like that. So I, I lost track. I'm not going to go back and count because it's not worth it. But the good news is, the last pack, it's a forest. Forests have been strong. Four out of five packs have been crushed with forests in them. So let's see where this one takes us. Ah, cool. Theros, this is the um, buy a box promo in non-foil. I believe this is actually worth more than the foil because of the rarity difference in the two. Then we have Dalthos, Craft of Wanderers, Extended Arts. Foil slot is Temple of the Sea. And then Constellation, non, uh, non-foil. That's a, that's a winner. Not foil, but it's a winner. And last one, let's be surprised together. Come on, let's do it. Ah, it's a Calfe, isn't it? It is a Calfe. Okay. Last card. And it's a Human Soldier Nightmare Token. All right, so let's look up these last couple of cards here. Uh, it's not really too, too much to look up, actually. Start with Thassa, because she's right there. Well, right there where I am in alphabetical order. That's a showcase, 15 bucks. And then we have the Temple of the Sea foil. Let me open that up, see what the foil price is. Yeah, it's two bucks. And we have Dalakos. So I believe we ended up with seven Nipics. It didn't look like we were going to for, for a while there. I got lucky and opened, I think, three of them in that one pack. Two or three? Three of them. Three of them. That one pack really saved the day. Uh, so seven Nipics, um, which is on par. I said six to eight when we started. Uh, we opened three of the Masterpieces. There's Phoenix of Ash. Dealing of, of Obstruction and Great Breaker Lamia. So three of those, which is on par again with what I said right before I started cracking these things. And I was not expecting three packs to be at $5 in value. That is a bummer. Because I was hoping to get a little bit more out of this pack than that. With doubt, because these extended art, he's three bucks. And then we have the Theros. Athreos, I guess it is. He's not even on here. Oh, because he's not part of the set? I don't know how much he is. I honestly don't know how much he is. I'm going to assume... I don't even, I don't even bring that. Maybe I'll go over real fast. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to Google him real fast because I actually want to get an action. I made it this far. I, I, I want I want to know what, what the number is. Price. Let's see. Uh, yeah, four, 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 four. Oops, guys, we go right past it. Seven bucks. Okay, seven bucks. I'm happy. I would, I would not have slept tonight if I did this video and did not. So we're gonna call that pack thirty bucks. Brings us a grand total of just the packs I opened. Three twenty. Three hundred twenty dollars of value. Now if you add the lands, the Nyx lands, which two bucks, three bucks, the islands maybe four ish. So I'm just gonna call them two for sake of argument. It's twenty-four, and those tokens, like I said, are surprisingly going for about a buck each. So I'm gonna add a dollar in for each of them. That's thirty-six dollars. That brings this total box up to three. 56. So not terrible. Not terrible. I was definitely sweating there around pack three, three and four when I only had about 30 bucks out of it. But we got there with those last couple packs. Some strong packs. Uh, $60 pack and pack 11. A $45 pack. Pack six. So we, we overall, we got some we got some good numbers out of this. Um, I'm happy with it. I might even buy another one once I sell some of this crap. We'll see. But for now, I've been going after 50 minutes. 
I don't have anything else to say. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for sticking in there. Uh, appreciate the three people who actually subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully we'll get some more, get some more views. And we'll just keep opening shit and keep talking. And maybe more cats will help. So I'll bring, my, I'll bring more cats in next time. All right. Well, besides that, you guys all have a wonderful night. Thanks for watching. Take care.